Welcome to Reykjavik. Our Icelandic adventure started in the capital city of Reykjavik. In Reykjavik, you can go shopping, eat good food, and become a Viking. Or walk near the waterfront and see a famous sculpture called the Sun Voyager. Right on the waterfront, you can find the Harpa, Reykjavik's performing arts center. If you visit Iceland in the summer, you have plenty of daylight to fit in many adventures. There are many friendly cats throughout Reykjavik, like this one. The big church is called Hallgrimskirke. It is made to look like big volcanic basalt columns. This is Leif Eriksson, a famous explorer from Iceland. You can enter the church for free and look around and pay a small fee to go to the top of the tower to see an amazing view of Reykjavik. While you're there, you can hear someone play the huge pipe organ. It's epic. All of this exploring is making me hungry. For some reason, Icelanders love hot dogs, so I decided to try one. We got our hot dogs and they're really good. Very tasty. Is that Europe's best hot dog? I've never been to Europe before, so I don't know, but... As far as you know they are? Yeah. Every August, Culture Night happens, and we are lucky enough to be there. It's a celebration of everything Icelandic. That's me all the way up there. There are tons of activities for kids, including street art. I'm drawing Gloomy from the Icelandic cartoon called Tulipa. Check this giant bubble I made. Then this chick goes and pops it. But that's cool. Look at me doing my own thing. On culture night, there's music everywhere. And dancing. My parents even took me to my first rave. Check these sweet moves. Even Super Mommy got weird. But not as weird as this guy. What the heck? Reykjavik is great, but the real magic happens outside the city. Once outside the city, there are many beautiful farmlands and miles of coastline to explore. I love putting my hands in the clear, cold North Atlantic. A short ferry ride takes you to Viti Island. We basically had the whole island to ourselves. We walked the trails and sat down, breathed, and took in the beautiful V's. It's not unusual to see a parade of horses on the road. I feel like waterfalls, challenging hikes, and beautiful views, Selyans Foss is the place for you. You can walk behind this waterfall. If you'd like to stay dry, bring a raincoat. You can even climb to the top for another amazing experience. 
Super Mommy loved this hike, although it was a little scary sometimes. This hike was worth the jaw-dropping view. On top of the waterfall are endless meadows. I even found someone who dresses like me. One of the days of our visit, we drove the famous Golden Circle Road, starting in Thingvellir National Park. There are no a number of trails throughout the park for endless exploration. In the year 930, the first Icelandic parliament met here. The gap between the Eurasian and the North American tectonic plates is visible here. The water is really clear and really cold. But the water is hot here. Now we are at Geyser, the second stop on our Golden Circle Tour. Every few minutes, nature puts on an awesome show. The last stop on our Golden Circle Tour is the mighty Golfoss. This powerful waterfall has two steps and is packed with tourists. Views are spectacular, but be careful and watch your step. If you know anything about Iceland, you probably know about the world famous Blue Lagoon. The Blue Lagoon is a milky blue geothermal pool where you can rub elbows with the beautiful people get treated like royalty, and simply relax and escape the everyday pressures of life. This silica mask is said to make people look 10 years younger. Wait, I'm only nine. Just look what it did for these two kids. I feel great. How do I look? Let's go explore the grotto. This place makes me so happy. But not as happy as this guy, apparently. I mean, what's not to like? A swim up bar where I can unwind with the slushy? The water in the Blue Lagoon gets its color from algae and minerals that come from a mile below the surface. Man, this is the life. A guy could get used to this. Our next stop is a a lot. Oh, forget it. It's a volcano, it erupted in 2010. Pretty though, isn't it? On to our last stop, the southernmost town in Iceland, Vik. Population 318. Vik is a beautiful small village that has black sand beaches. We loved inspecting all the ocean tumbled rocks. Legend has it that these sea stacks are trolls turned into stone. This is an enormous volcanic basalt formation. 
Remember I mentioned Hallgrim's Kirka? Well, this is what it's meant to look like. The basalt is perfect for climbing. Look how tall this is. Puffins have their nest up there. Thick was one of my favorite places in Iceland. But it's hard to choose when we saw so many cool things. But there is still so much to explore. I guess we'll have to go back to write another chapter in our Icelandic saga.